We came to the Broad River in Franklin Springs, Georgia, more than 350 of us strong. A kaleidoscope of boats, people, and gear. People came from all over the state, all over the country for that matter. All of us eager to get Paddle Georgia 6 started and on its way. There's an air of excitement on that first day as we donned our helmets and made our way to the river past April at our usual spot. We navigated our way down the river, through the shoals, through the rapids, through the rocks, and even over a waterfall. There's a big dispute about that waterfall. Is it three feet? Is it six feet? It doesn't matter. It was a blast. I think the local wildlife proved to be more challenging than the river, especially for the poor safety boaters that were trying to help us. As hot as it was, no one minded getting wet. In fact, getting in the water as often as possible seemed to be the order of the day. We all came to paddle and paddle we did, 82 miles, through fast water and slow, winding our way to Augusta. We also came to have fun and some of us got into the spirit more than others. We also had some that, in some people's mind, were just a bit grim. We played, we splashed, but at some point each day, we had to get off the river. And that meant camping. The 100 degree temps sent the hardiest campers into the coolness of the gym. A lot of us braved the heat outside and camped. Yes, it was hot, but at least our clothes dried fast. And soon we were back on our river road, paddling, always paddling. Sometimes we hung out in roving packs like some odd motorcycle gang. Checking out each other's gear and contemplating the merits of one colorful chariot over another. Sometimes we treated the river like a big water park, resting on our boats like easy chairs, letting the river move us along at her pace. Everybody paddles a little different. Some people are very social. Other people, the paddling is the thing and they're very serious about it. You would think with that many people you'd be running into people all the time, but it's amazing how much solitude there is if you want it. And a lot of times, we were a floating circus. Acrobats with feats of daring. Funny critters and even a few animal trainers. But the best were the trapeze artists. They were relentless. You give them a rope, you give them a rock, and they were jumping or they were swinging. Heck, I even gotta admit, I tried it once. Not only was it liberating, it was fun. Heck, we even had a ringmaster and a couple clowns or two. After a long day of paddling, you'd think we were tired, but heck no! We clean up, cool off, and play somewhere else. Sometimes it's in the gym, sometimes it's on a stage, and sometimes it's in the local street. You have to wonder what the locals think of our traveling circus. I think after the initial shock wears off, they usually want us to stay and join in the fun themselves.
that's one thing you can be sure about Paddle Georgia, it never gets boring and neither does the river. Just around the corner there might be a beautiful vista. Sometimes it's rocks, sometimes it's plants, sometimes it's the water itself. We get to spread out in the river and you see things like wildlife. Because you got all day, you have the time to look around and enjoy. And as a special treat on a 100 degree morning, Mother Nature gives us her version of air conditioning. We also see and learn about what man has done to the river, sometimes taming it with dams and locks and man-made structures. Cutting into her banks, using her for power, navigation, water treatment. We take tours and have speakers telling us about the local river history. We see the monuments in the building and the local commerce. We share the stories, the folklore, and the history. We find out what's special. We find out what's endangered. We find out ways that we can help. You have to understand what's wrong before you can figure out how to fix it. Our Paddle Georgia adopt stream trainers and volunteers test and test again all over the river. Sometimes we all get involved in helping the river and do a trash cleanup, picking up the strange and the common. Everybody wants to help because you can't spend seven days going down a river and not want to help it. We find out that each one of us can do something. Adopt stream is one of the most important jobs that you can do, but there are all kinds of volunteer jobs on Paddle Georgia. Paddle Georgia runs with a great staff and a lot of volunteers. Sometimes it's volunteering to help at the boat ramp, or at the food line, or at the gear truck. Every volunteer job and every volunteer is important, and everybody gets in the spirit and wants to help. Every trip has its challenges, and this one was portaging 350 boats around a dam. And another dam. And another dam. There are a lot of damn dams. I can't help it, my boat weighs a ton, but it was well worth it once we got in the Savannah River. I know I get asked a lot, how do you do that for seven days? And I tell people, it's not about the camping, it's not about the lines, or the heat, or the food. It's not about moving boats, or moving camp, or moving people and buses. Sometimes it's not even about the paddling. It's about doing something you maybe thought you couldn't do. It's about sharing a unique experience with new friends, with old friends, with lifelong friends. It's about family sharing an adventure, getting closer to nature, getting closer to each other. Some of us have such a great time that paddling and working with water becomes a way of life. And it always seems to go so fast and be over so soon. Each one of us takes home a little bit of that river. What we choose to do with it is up to us. Maybe it's volunteering in a local group. Maybe it's attending a cleanup. Maybe it's donating money. Or maybe it's just taking a little extra time in your day to get out and enjoy that local river. I do know, after seven days of teaching, learning, sharing, and caring about a river, you will not walk away unchanged. And I know I'll see you all next year.